to Rex to Riches. I'm Lauren and I don't really know what I'm giving you in this video but I just it was one of the moments where it's like okay I need to film this I need to document this because this thought process what I'm going backwards and forwards in my mind right now is my journey to being a successful businesswoman like my dreams and I thought, I, you, how can I not? <laughs> so, I don't even know like where to begin. Um, the shop's doing really good. Like, really good. I'm only open two days a week, which is Friday and Saturday. And I absolutely hate, I've said this so many times on this video, I hate, I hate, I hate working at DFS in the factory. And today is Sunday, so obviously Monday, tomorrow, and I really, 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 really don't want to go back to work at DFS. And one of the main reasons what was keeping me there was not the people it was none of that sort of stuff it was the money um however they've made some significant changes in the past couple of months and it's made our money go down a lot and as i don't know if i've mentioned this before in one of my videos but a long time ago things were the wages were really bad and uh I wrote a letter to the the head of the company and he came round and talked to me in person, which I absolutely cracked myself at. And yeah, he basically gave me a, a big booklet and I had to go through all the prices and change all the prices. And we got a really good wage from that, which I'm really, really proud about that. Um, and anyway, so we tried to do that again and they're just, the wages are just shocking. Like they've just... It's so hard to make money now with the way they've changed it, basically. And I'm making so much more less now at the place. And I'm doing the exact same hours. And it was the anniversary of me being at DFS, which was the 14th of September, the other day. And I'm like... And I'm on... I'm on break, I'm on my sick break, and I'm just thinking to myself, not saying anything to anyone, but like, I've been here at this place for six years, and I don't feel like I've accomplished anything being here, I'm not happy being here, you know, the only good thing about this place is that I had, I, w I was pregnant here, I had my child here, and while I've worked here, I have had my wedding, Um which was three weeks ago <laughs> and I always did say after the wedding I was going to I was going to quit DFS but I've, I've for the past probably two well two weeks after the wedding I, I was just putting it off in the back of my mind but it was always at the back of my mind but now I'm just like Saturday Sunday night and I'm thinking I don't want to go back like <sighs> The only thing that was keeping me there was the money. Now the money's gone down. It's like, why go to DFS, be poor, basically, and be miserable? Or you can be, not poor, but poor and be happy working in your shop. That makes sense because obviously we'll just start, it's still a new business. We're just coming up to our one year anniversary if that makes sense so I'm just like so torn it's it's so hard to cut the umbilical cord of knowing you're going to get a weekly wage every week you know it's coming you know you've worked and obviously you guaranteed your money but whereas you work for yourself and you know you've got to you got to hustle for the money and stuff and it's kind of like shit like I've got to do this and it's it's such a hard process and I just thought I have to document 
my thought process of this. Um, but yeah, I spoke to my partner. My partner's been so, so supportive. And he's like, just go for it. Just just do it. Just do it. And it's I'm like, I want to. Like, oh my God, I want to. But it's cutting the umbilical cord of being just like, fuck your mouth. <laughs> if that makes sense. It makes sense. I know it makes sense. Spoke to my mum. She's like, it's time. Yeah, you need to take the plunge. You need to. And I'm like, I know, I know. <sighs> it's going to be so hard. So, basically what I'm going to do is... I'm, I'm like, I'll share something also with you. I really, I hate it so much at that place. I've had... I don't know why, but I have I've had panic attacks there, and I think it's just anxiety, being stressed and being depressed in that environment and stuff. And I've had I've had a panic attack at work, and I think I only lasted like an hour and a half of the shift. Had to go home, and then later on that day, I had another one, just thinking about having to go back the next day. So obviously, it's affecting me mentally. Like I just can't do it. Like I can't do it. So what I'm gonna do is, I can't believe I'm saying this out loud, I've said it in my head, but I haven't said it out loud yet, that I'm going to take two weeks, uh, like sick leave, sick pay, and I'm just going to try and figure it out, Um. yeah, I'm just going to try and figure it out, and see what I can do, Uh. And I'm going to work in the shop for a full two weeks. Not So basically, I, my only days... If, my idea is when I'm running the shop is that I'm going to be doing... Uh, I only have two days off, which are going to be on a Sunday and a Monday. Um, Yeah. And so basically, I'm going to open the shop on Tuesday full time this week. But... Jeez, I'm just like, um, in a way I'm like flabbergasted because I'm just like, I can't believe I'm doing this, I can't believe I'm doing this. Like it's all, it's all happening, but I'm just like, my mind and my body just cannot, cannot go back in that environment anymore. I can't do it. And to be honest, I've been an absolute asshole to work with since having the shop because I'm... My personality is kind of like, my, I've got to take over. Not in a like a nasty way or anything like that, but it's like, right, we'll do it this way, we're going to get that done, we're going to get this done. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm just, that's the sort of training I've had being a chef. Um, so it's it's just some, you know, it's just the way I am. <laughs> so, and yeah, since having the shop, it's been a lot worse. And I've noticed that myself and I've said to my co-workers and that who I work with, I've been like, I've, I've been a little fucker, I know I have. And they just laugh it off and it's like, we know. <laughs> but I do it in a nice way. I don't do it on purpose. It's just it's just my personality, you know. Um, <laughs> so it's basically the way they run it. I wouldn't run it like that. And the way I explain it to people is that the factory couldn't run a bath. Honestly, it's... You know, people in the offices saying, right, tell all the little people down there in the factory to do it like this. But yet they're not on the factory floor, so they don't really know what they're on about because they're not there. So they can't run a bath. Anyway, I'm leaving. And this is the first process, really. It's the big decision. I've, God, I've done 10 minutes of explaining my how I've got to the thought of, and the plan basically so yeah I've just had trying to it's about half eight on a Sunday night on the 19th of September yeah it's a big step okay well I'm gonna check back in with you tomorrow and let you know how things are going i've got a couple of things three big things to do tomorrow um i'll explain them later on so 
bye for now this is scary <laughs> okay it's the next day i haven't gone to work i just physically and mentally cannot <laughs> can't face it and i actually feel great for not for not going in because I said to myself, right, I've got three things to do tomorrow, um, which I mentioned before, which I haven't, well, I haven't said what they are, so I'm going to say what they are now. Um, the first thing was to get a sick note in, and I've done that, um, just so that I know I've got time to prepare myself for the next step of fully opening the business. So I'm really pleased about that. Um... I know you're probably thinking, oh, that's not the right way to do it, but the way I'm feeling, you know, not really, really not wanting to go in and just can't, just can't face it, just really can't face it. So I've had to do it. I've had to do it. So I've done that this morning, got that sent off um, to work. Someone picked it up for me and took it in and... Then the second thing was to contact contact Hermes um, and become a Hermes parcel drop-off for the local com village community that the shop is in because we the building that the shop is in used to be the old post office and now the old post office, well, the post office closest to everyone is quite a way. Um, and also if you become a... a parcel drop off every parcel that gets sent from your location you get a percentage of so it's just a little bit more income coming into the business and I can also send my parcels from the shop um so it's kind of a win-win right now with that so very pleased about doing that um basically all you gotta do is email email them and basically say that you want to do it and just give them some information and then you just got to wait wait to hear from them. So it said 72 hours. So hopefully we'll get something from that. Um, yeah, I think that was a very good, smart business move to do for the shop, for sure. Um, not only does it help me get my parcels out, it helps the community and it also brings the community into the shop. So it's a win-win all round on that one. Um, and thirdly was to contact um, Universal Credit and get that sorted out. Um, unfortunately, it's Monday today and you can imagine bringing any like council you, tax credits, Universal Credits, anything like that. It's just a total head fuck on Monday and I spent about 20 minutes on the phone and I didn't hear anyone. There's no like you are number so and so in the queue there's none of that so i didn't know what number in line i was so i decided to do it online um uh well to be honest i did want to speak to someone and ask some questions and stuff um but i just thought our oh, balls to this i'm doing it online and i have to make like a joint a joint claim with my partner um, so I've done my part, I just need him to do his, and then we link up the accounts, something like that. <sighs> so yeah, I'm I'm feeling really good. It's it's time. But yesterday I was like, oh god, do I don't I do I don't I was so in two minds. But there was so much disadvantages of staying and working in the factory of DFS than what there is working for myself. The only, th and the scary thing about working for yourself is, is the money gonna come in? That's that's the biggest thing for sure, is the money gonna come in? And working only two days a week, I've consistently made the same amount pretty much every month. Um, so hopefully with opening, a lot more I should fingers crossed definitely make double of what I'm making oh god I friggin hope so <laughs>
but yeah um it's time i've you know i've got to make this big step everyone around me is being so supportive my partner's being supportive my mum's just like yep yeah, do it go for it go for it you know we'll work it out um i'm just i've totally done it the wrong way in the sense of i haven't got any savings behind me <laughs> my partner doesn't have any savings behind him christmas is coming up <laughs> So I am just like, ah, what the hell? It's not the smartest way to do it at all. And because the wages at DFS have literally, I'm down at £100 a week, which is a considerable a lot of money, um, I hadn't been able to put any money in savings unfortunately uh, that obviously was the plan to have a certain amount in savings and then be like fuck you i'm off but there isn't but every i've been listening to a podcast a bethany frankel podcast i think it's called i don't know some <laughs> b podcast i think poppy why does the dog always bark like seriously come on anyway i've been listening to her and she gets She's obviously a millionaire, successful businesswoman over in America. She made skinny, skinny girl margaritas and just her success came from that. Um, and one second. <laughs> so, yeah, so she's like hugely successful and she's a um, TV personality. Um, came from the Real Housewives of New York City which is an amazing show. <laughs> it's my guilty pleasure for sure. And uh, yeah, on this podcast, she gets people, um, successful people in business, um, not just business, well, yeah, even like CEOs and stuff that are in business. So like she had someone on from who works in Netflix and she's obviously really high up and she talked about her success story and they, and a lot of them, a lot of these really successful people have come from nothing at all and they basically was like right i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this and they didn't have savings behind them they didn't have like partners behind them it was just them themselves that did it and made this successful business and it was really inspiring for me right now especially in this position where it's like okay this is that moment this is that moment of right okay this is me this is this has to work this has to work completely um yeah pretty much and to be honest i don't think i could go back to working for somebody because i just couldn't i'd probably have to be like a manager or something because i just couldn't do what I did before, like, no way, no way, and I'm, I'm just really excited, I'm excited now, I just can't wait, so tomorrow I'm going to be opening the shop, which is Tuesday, I don't know if I said before, but my days off are going to be Sunday and Monday, today's Monday, so I'm going to open the shop, but I'm not going to announce it, just because I'm on the sick, <laughs> And I need to obviously get things done. Um, so while I'm in the shop, I'll be getting things done, you know, getting things ready, organised. for Basically organising a plan of what I need to do. And, and if, if I can make a few sales while I'm in the shop, then that's just great. If you know what I mean. I just really need to... I'm just excited. And I know I'm doing it kind of the wrong way, but at the moment it's the right way for the right time. And <laughs> the house is still upside down from the wedding, for sure. <laughs> only, a, only a little bit. It's slowly and surely going down. Oh my God. I just, I probably can't wait. Whew. I feel like I need a, Big, massive wall calendar 
and right, I'm going to do this on this day, I'm going to do that on that day, I'm going to, you know, not kind of like a media content, but kind of not. She's such a naughty dog, but she's also such a really cute dog. Because she gets away with it. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what the next thing that's going to happen. If you know what I mean? Like, what's going to happen now? <gasps> I think I'm just going to see where it goes. Okay, I'll probably come back on tomorrow and tell you what's happening. Because I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> I have, kind of have an idea of what I want to happen next. But I'll probably pop back in, I don't know, I'll probably leave it here. I'll probably leave it here and then there'll be another update. Because it's going to be a couple of weeks, I think, for things to get sorted. But yeah, this is a huge step in my journey and I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, I hope you have a great day. I hope you have some great sales on eBay or wherever you sell your items. And I hope every little sale is pushing towards the dream. really emotional that isn't it but anyway have a great day and i hope you have some great sales thanks for watching bye okay so i thought i would leave the update there but however something is kind of like the universe for me is just like all all the planets are like lining up and it's like the perfect moment because i've just had such a lovely review left on my facebook like my business Facebook page for the shop and it was so nice it was really kind and, and it's just like wow I personally like messaged the person was like thank you so much like uh, I've actually quit my job today and you writing that has just made my day and it's made me realize I'm doing the right thing and yeah how many spots I've got like this is how stressed I am from like working at DFS because you still have to wear masks which is oh god I don't know how these doctors and nurses are doing it and these people in care homes because geez my skin hates it so yeah I'm I'm just it's night time and I'm just like doing the goddamn right thing <laughs> i should have a drink but i'm at the shop tomorrow <laughs> so yeah very exciting just can't believe it okay good night